for my great challenge. I have no idea how happy I am. <laughs> this is way long overdue. Look what I bought. I actually did it. I bought a carpet cleaner. Um, I put money aside. I didn't get it sent to me by the company. And I just picked it up the other day. I'm going to unbox it and we're going to clean this rug and the sofa behind me. Um, this was really long overdue. This carpet I have in the living room is disgusting. <laughs> You're going to see definite before and after. I've done a lot of research. This is supposed to be the best of the best. It beats the rug doctor. It beats everything else you can possibly get. I got the uh, Bissell Pro Heat 2X Revolution Pet Pro, okay? This is a carpet cleaner specifically designed for pet owners like me. You know, I have two dogs, they are filthy, and I have one cat. Um, this rug is just looking like it should be thrown out. And I'm gonna try to save it. I've cleaned it twice so far since we've gotten it uh, for free <laughs> with the sofa when I purchased the sofa, 50 bucks. Um, the lady gave me the uh, rug she had with her. I cleaned it once when I got it into the house using uh, the rug doctor and I guess it was okay. And then I cleaned it again last year, no, this year when Scott and, um, when Scott's parents came over or when my mom came over, I can't remember. Or maybe I cleaned it three times. You guys follow, I don't, okay. So what I'm gonna do is show you the carpet before and then um, I'm definitely going to do the rug today and I'm going to do the sofa, the upholstery and the um, ottoman I'm sitting on. Um, I can't wait to see whether or not this is as good as they say it is. I've watched a ton of reviews on it. I've watched the shopping channels, um, you know, presentations on it and it looks really impressive. What I know so far is that A, you put uh, the water in it tap water and um, hot water and it has a heater in it so it does produce heat on the um, cleaning and what's revolutionary about it is that instead of having just one brush that scrubs like this it has two sets of brushes and the sprays in between and it also has a direct jet spray for spot cleaning um, you can do upholstery with it the upholstery attachment has a vacuum so you vacuum your upholstery first because of pet hair so it collects the pet hair and then you can go ahead and clean what else is super special about it um i can't remember but i can't wait to see the color of the water after i'm done with this thing we're all gonna be grossed out and it's gonna be great So here's culprit number one and here is culprit number two. Here's the Pro Heat 2X Revolution Pet Pro by Bissell. It's a fairly big box, um, but it supposedly removes pet hair, stains and odors with two-in-one pet upholstery. I got the one that's purple and green, there's three different ones. Uh, it's got adjustable cleaning mode, you can do an express mode that supposedly dries in one hour. Uh, but that would be for light stain. Um, this is not what we're talking about here. Look at my carpet. It's disgusting. Um, this carpet is not white. I just want to remember, remind everybody. Uh, if you're new to the channel, welcome. This is the state of my rug in my living room. It is absolutely disgusting. Uh, this carpet was never white. It's beige, okay, in color. But you can see like this um, serious traffic stains. Um, everywhere it's probably cleaner or cleanest where you see the difference here right and this area here because the chairs used to be here so underneath the chairs it wasn't too disgusting um, but all of this including the two chairs is going to get cleaned up first things first I'm going to vacuum the rug. <laughs> See that? Yeah, okay. So, 
you're supposed to fill this up with hot water, right? And for people like me who are um, really need instructions, uh, you fill it up to a certain level and then they give you another level where you put your solution. So I'm going to use the Advanced Professional Pet Urine Eliminator with Oxy. You have um, a deep clean right here, right? Over here, you push that down. This is the Express Clean. This is the one that, if your carpet is really not all that dirty, but you just want to refresh it, um, that's the one that will dry in one hour. So I'm going to put it on deep clean. So you see the power shot right here? I don't know if you can see it. So I'm pressing on it and the product is coming out this way, right? Okay. So it only works if you tilt this in the back. Okay, so I'm just going to get started. Um, I'm going to pick an area. I'm going to go this way on the rug so you can really see the difference. Wish me luck because I'm super excited about this. This area here was not clean and this area just had one pass and I want you to see this. This is all the pet hair that it's grabbing. Look at this. Look at all the pet hair that it's uh, um, taking out of the rug. So this one I just did one time. It smells super good. This over there has not been done and this was done. So, so far I'm pretty happy in particular with this. Look at the color of the water. Can you believe this is disgusting? Okay, uh, I'm almost done with the first tank, so it, you do need a um, serious amount of water for this. This is uh, somewhat damp, um, so it's gonna need some time to um, dry. So let me just do half of the rug and then I'll show you what it looks like when half is done and the other half is not, so we can really appreciate how well this thing cleans. So I didn't even finish the first half of the half, <laughs> you know, I've just done this. Look at the amount of hair uh, I've been grabbing and this is all wet hair that's been pushed in and out. And quite frankly, there's more inside the tank, but look at the color of the tank because I'm ready to go dump this. Um, I'm on my third uh, gallon and I guess that the bottom gallon contains... Um, Two gallons of uh, dirty water. Uh, can you believe? Okay, I started with this color water. This is the color of the water I'm getting out of this rug. It is absolutely disgusting. I am in awe. <laughs> Absolute awe. Look at this. So I've only done a third of the rug and it's amazing the amount of hair it pulls out. And I had just vacuum. Um, Scott noticed that there was a difference between the design, like the inner design was a little darker beige than the outside. We had never noticed that before, even with the rug doctor, but I want to show you something. Because at some point it looked like it wasn't sucking the water anymore, so Scott, show this. Um, this is what happens when you have a lot of dog hair, the dog hair gets stuck here. So all you got to do is open this right here. Let me show you. Here we go. 
And then what you got to do is push this here and pull this out, okay? And let me show you. This is the area where the water gets sucked out. And look at all the dog hair. It's collected. Do you see that? So as a result, the water doesn't get sucked back into um, where it belongs, right? So put that back in, right? So this is the hair. And then you just put that back in like this. Okay, and then you resume your cleaning. Um, that's a lot of hair. It's amazing how the hair, the dog hair, and the cat hair gets embedded in the carpet. So if you have like a, a, a shag carpet that's a little bit thicker, I can only imagine the amount of stuff you're gonna get out of it. I've done three, um, a third of the rug, and I'm only going like, I'm going back and forth on it. I've done it twice, basically. Um, I've used three tanks. And another thing I've noticed is that when you want to remove the water tank that's dirty, don't wait for the water tank to be full, like leave it like two or three inches here. And then all you have to do is pull it here and just grab it like this. There's a little um, opening right here, oh, no. right here. And you just dump that into your sink or your toilet. And then before you put it back, you want to clean this part right here. Um, and pull out some of the hair that's there too. Okay, so let me empty this. Look at the color of the water and finish half of the rug so we can see the difference. It's a lot of work. Um, it takes time, but I have to tell you, it's much easier to use than the rug doctor. Uh, it's basically just like a vacuum, really. Um, and I think it does a much better job. So I hope you can see this is the part that is dirty that's right by the entrance. I didn't do this, I didn't do this and then when we get to half of this design you can see when it's been done and then this is the same part on the other side that has been clean. So here's clean and I only did it um, twice, I'm going to do one more time. So here's the clean part. I gotta tell you, this cleans much better than the rug doctor. And this is the dirty part, right? Scott says you can tell there's a dirty line. This, this is dirty and this is clean. There's like yeah. a line. Oh, right yeah, there. yeah, you can see that, yeah. So you definitely can see it here where the uh, leaves are really nice and dark green, and over here it's kind of like blah. Hi, Fiona. Um, so, anyway, I'm very happy with this. Let's look at this design. This is kind of um, faded a little bit and here's the clean one. So Scott says that the rug itself is gonna um, probably look even better once it's dry because right now it's dark but I gotta tell you all the odors are gone. Um, smells nice! <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and finish the other half and show you what it looks like and I'll tackle the sofa. Well I'm gonna go as far as saying that this is a totally different rug. <laughs> it's getting dark outside so you're seeing it in different conditions. Um, I've cleaned it twice with the Max Deep Clean and once with the Express one. And the reason why I did that is because the Express Clean uh, uses less product uh, so it doesn't saturate it as much and it sucks the water even more. So now this is barely damp and I've looked underneath the rug um, the water's been sucked the floor underneath because I have parquet. Um, I don't know if I can show you. I don't know if you can see. It's not even wet. So that's awesome. And this is deep clean. This is deep clean. It's a totally different color. It's so much more um, vibrant than what we had before. I want to show you this because this is really gross. This is this is the amount of hair, dog and cat hair from the second half of the rug that was rolled into mats and didn't get sucked into the water because there's way more hair inside the dirty water but this is what was not able to go. Look at that. Look at that. Yikes. Okay, so it's getting dark because it's 3 o'clock in the afternoon. 
Um, I am very happy with the machine for the rugs so far. And I'm telling you, I'm still getting dirty water, uh, which I find amazing. <laughs> Uh, so it just proves to show how dirty it was and uh, now I'm going to tackle the sofa because uh, mm -hmm. uh, babe you need to go down okay so I'm going to boot the dog and I'm going to do this so the first thing you need to do I'm going to do half of the sofa again and then uh, I'll show you the comparison between the two sides this is the tool you use for upholstery the other tool that I didn't know what it was about is for uh, spot clean okay so this one, you got to, you plug it in the front, which is really, really easy. Um, I think this is great because sometimes you got to put the stuff in the back of the machine and when you pull, the machine falls. This one, it won't compromise that. It's eight foot long, so you can do a whole bunch of stuff with it. Um, I'm just going to plug it in. I'll show you where it goes. Okay. And the first thing you need to do is vacuum your sofa or your upholstery first to get rid of all the hair. So let's see how much hair I'm getting out of this first. Okay, so I just did the whole sofa and this is what I got. Um, there's a lot of there's a lot of dirt here on the front and then oh man I should be embarrassed, right? So I'm gonna open this and it didn't get a lot of hair, but it did get quite a lot of um, dirt like um, sand like dust and then the filter is really really gross so you just close this back on this doesn't collect any water so it doesn't really matter I'll have to clean it up to tell whether or not it's cleaning it um, because this is a light color sofa it's green and um, it gets darker <laughs> as it gets wet it's damp I mean no it's a little wet um, but I gotta tell you I emptied the dirty water tank before I started doing this and this is just I just did one back and one cushion and I want to show you the color of the water from doing just that. Um, I should be embarrassed, right? <laughs> I'm not. I'm not because you guys know if you have pets, you know what it's like. Um, so if this was white, you probably would be able to see the difference. Uh, but I gotta tell you though, the smell um, difference between the two sides is amazing. Uh, this smells really nice and fresh and laundry like, and this smells like wet dog. <laughs> so I'm gonna continue I'm gonna do the whole sofa um, I don't know if you can tell let me see if I show you uh, I don't know if you can tell that there's a clean side uh, this side has been clean and this side is still dirty uh, it's wet so you can't really tell so I'm gonna do um, the armrest and then I'll do the front of the sofa right here uh, the water is coming out so gross it's uh, it's amazing and then I still have see the mess over here I'm still in the middle of a Christmas decor um, I still have to do the ottoman which may or may not stay in the living room to be honest well I gotta tell you I am wiped out <laughs> I cleaned the entire rug uh, it's semi back in order in here we're very happy with the rugs it, it really it looks really really neat the sofa is still uh, wet so it's still dark looking and then and then the ottoman um, is really really clean oops and then the ottoman is really really clean however I don't know if I'm gonna keep it so we have a sofa here no you can't go on it and I've decided that I'm gonna go and wash the dogs that's right I'm gonna go wash the dogs because uh, what's the point of getting this rug 
this sofa and ottoman all cleaned up. Uh, I give this machine a four star, not five. Um, the wand for the sofa, um, if you're going to get something like this, similar or different, the same one or a different brand, um, you want to do your sofa, if your sofa is over carpet, you want to do your sofa first because there's a lot of splatter from the wand and then the wand is actually difficult to, um, you know, it's, it's hard to maneuver. So you do need more elbow grease on the wand than you do on the rug itself, on the, the whole machine. So if you have arthritis, that may be a problem for you. Uh, I wish they had something that was a little bit wider so you could get a bigger area at a time. But however, I'm very happy and I can't believe how much dirt is coming out of the sofa. Um, there's still more dirt coming out. So with regular cleaning, I'm going to assume that it's get better and better each time. This was the first time I used it. It got a lot of the nasty out. It smells really good in here, um, but I have to maintain it, right? So I have to maintain um, the sofa. I might get a cover for it. You know, like just like one of those pet cover uh, because that's easier to wash. Um, and then uh, what else? Um, that's about it. So, yeah, I really like it. It was um, difficult for the hand one um, for the sofa, but the machine itself, the carpet looks fantastic and we're very happy with it. So, again, four star on the B cell. What was it? Uh, Pro Heat X2 Revolution Pet Pro. <laughs> I think that's the name of it. I'm happy with it. Um, it smells nice, it looks clean, it is clean, but you need to do regular cleaning in order for your stuff to really, really show as though it's brand new. Um, mine, you know, is still a little busted, but it's better than what I had, so I'm happy with it. Thank you for watching, you guys. I will see you later. Bye!